literally go through the fear. Can I still do it? You're going to be burned out. Do you really want to be a footballer? It's about defining moments. You know, that's what it's all about. My mind is focused. I remember when we went to Tia and it was gigantic. I was shaking, you know, my, my mouth was shaking. And I had two massive wipeouts. I knew where I was, I knew I was in trouble. And I knew that I would only survive if I put a, a serious consciousness effort to not black out. I had this huge gap of two years of training and redoing my boards and my equipment and my confidence and everything. It still hurts. She's focused and she knows what she wants. The desire for that feeling of riding that wave and coming through is such a feeling of elation. That's, they're, they're addicted to it. 24, 25. You know, I like to get big barrows and <laughs> to get big waves. I like, I like when the surf is intense. I, I, I really enjoy it. Tomorrow, yeah, 11. I have to accept the fear. I have, I have to feel it. I have to embrace it. So it's yeah. happening. I, I checked the swell. Uh, it looks pretty big. Are you excited about it? I have so many memories from that place. Two years ago wasn't my first bad trip. I've had bad trips before. But I don't think I'll ever stop going there. I wouldn't be who I am if uh, I, I had just bailed on everyone and be like, no, you guys go, I can't go to Chopo because I had a bad experience there once. I know exactly the risks I'm taking and I'm willing to take them. I love what I do and I, I love the adrenaline. Those are days that I think I live for that. You know, I live for that. You know, only the ocean and the waves and, and the intensity of the energy can really give me that opportunity to live something like that.